why you get so fly? Okay, so before you say it, I'm technically not a week late, you know, next episode's gonna release, I think, in a day, so I'm technically not a week late, so let's just pretend it's Sunday, and this episode just released, okay, just pretend, please, just pretend, just pretend, and now with y'all pretending it's Sunday and the episode just got released, let's get on with the episode review, you know what I mean, just keep pretending, okay, keep pretending. Okay, so this episode finally gave us an Aaron point of view. I mean, the last time we saw Aaron was going crazy on Hanji like a couple episodes ago in the jail cell. Literally was about to transform right in front of her. I mean, my man was just crazy. But we're going to get back to him later because we only see him later on in the episode. So we start off the episode with our boy Armin spinning some game to Annie, you know what I mean? Through the crystal and stuff. I mean, Armin, I don't know what he's doing, man. You know, I mean, I don't think Annie could really hear him at all she's in the crystal bride and she's asleep so i don't know what he's doing and my man actually gets caught in the act by hitch and some people actually didn't know who she was because of how different she looks in mappa design but hitch is basically the girl marlo liked and y'all should know who marlo is r.i.p my boy he died with erwin you know in the beast titan uh rock attack and she gone she got and now that y'all know that look my boy armin does not have any time to simp over annie because there's like a whole squad of protesters outside just chilling around this building just screaming why is aaron in jail and stuff and they even say sasageo or like dedicate your hearts they just start screaming that it's just weird and as i said in my last episode review this is basically the aftermath of flock leaking the information that aaron is in jail and stuff so obviously Mikasa and Armin want to talk to Aaron to, you know, see if they could try to turn Mans into season one Aaron, the dude who was actually focused on killing the Titans, not the dude who's focused now on just killing every other person that isn't an Eldian. But this Commander Zachary dude, you know, the dude that literally like, tortures people in his torture chair, I mean, he really doesn't do anything at all. And this dude doesn't allow them to see Aaron and even threatens to like kill Aaron, and even says that Aaron is being manipulated by Zeke, which is just so dumb okay i mean aaron is like high iq this season i'm not gonna lie and him being manipulated by zeke sounds pretty stupid and then after that a couple minutes later my man just gets blown up and look i told y'all these squads of protesters outside of the little like capital thingy he was in when he gets blown up they start screaming like dedicate your hearts and stuff it's just a weird scene and they just show his dead body like it's just so sad at the same time i didn't really like him but still it's still sad now to the legendary scene that everybody was waiting for it. Everybody saw in the trailer and started making memes about it. Now you can actually make like very, very good, high quality memes because it's the anime version where my boy Aaron escapes the jail cell he was in and meets up with Flock and puts on the jacket. Moi, such a 10 out of 10 scene, an amazing scene. I will admit, although I prefer the trailer version, the anime version was also really good. And I made a video on this whole debate between the anime version of the jacket scene or the trailer version of the jacket scene. So tell me what y'all think about the jacket scene, okay? Do you like the anime version more? I heard some people like the anime version more. Other people like the trailer version. So basically now there's three sides in the Attack on Titan story. Obviously we got Marley, which is like the main enemy, but it's kind of split up because of what Eren did. Then there's the Alliance, which are basically the scouts, you know, the people of parodies. And now we got the best group, the best group, the Jaegerists. That's what they're called in the anime. And look, I'm a Jaegerist, okay? I support my boy Eren and Flock. I love them, you know, they're amazing, they're amazing. And towards the end of the episode, we see that Peak is already in Paradise, and she's basically just chilling with a newspaper, hiding in disguise. This basically means that Marley is already in Paradise, like they're probably already infiltrating Paradise. Just expect things to go down in the next couple of episodes. And yeah, tell me what y'all thought about this episode. Personally, I rate this episode a 9 out of 10, you know. I really like this episode. I like the jacket scene and the reveal of Peak already being in Marley. It was done very, very well. And yeah, it's been your boy, Stortillium. And peace. I'm out. I'm in the motherfucking walk. I got the clock. Got the game motherfucking dance. I'm in the body with walk. It's the walk. I got the motherfucking dance. Out of the bed of that dice. I need fuck with their friends.